Brickhead fans, <laughs> I'm feeling you. Dodgers fans, is there a rapture at the ravine or what? Clayton Kershaw, seven-year, $251 million deal. It's kosher. And we're all Cavelli in the sea who died seven years of the great Kirsch. And what's with the Lakers? A lot of problems. A multitude of aggravation, angst, agony, the whole thing for Lakers fans. It's been a season to forget, a season of turmoil, a season of tumult, a season of embarrassment and humiliation. But to add to it all is gutlessness. What happened on the floor of Phoenix, Arizona, where Swaggy P. Nick Young was abandoned by his teammates after he got mugged by a couple of sons and he threw a punch at Dragic and the four of the Lakers on the court are sitting there watching Nick Young get mugged and abused. Unacceptable, not just in basketball, any team sport, any business, when your comrades, your amigos, are getting abused, you don't come to their emotional rescue, you are guilty. And who is guilty? What stunned me, the caveman, Chris Kamen, he spent 15 years in the league. Chris, you should know better. Jody Meeks, I know Jody is not a bold, brazen, aggressive dude, great shooter, great offensive player. Jody Meeks sat there and watched. Don't forget Kendall Marshall. Kendall Marshall was so out of it that post-game, he's calling out Nick Young, saying, well, Nick only saw what he wanted to see. Hey, Kendall Marshall, you've been in the league two weeks. You want to make a name for yourself? You want to get a slot on this team? You would have hightailed your talkers to Nick Young's side and thrown some punches. Who cares how many bodies you have in your team? Your bodies can't ball. Your team has lost 12 of 13. You should have made a statement a la Sean Williams. If he was on that team, he was cut two weeks ago. Sean Williams would have been in Dragic's face and the Morris brothers' face. He would have been in Markeith Morris's face. He would have been in Philip Morris's face. He would have been in Morris Day's face. But Sean Williams is gone. So the, enter gutlessness. They had a team meeting in Boston. They allegedly cleared the air. You know what? In the moment, it was cowardice. In the moment, you are not men of action. In the moment, you let Swaggy P down. Now you can bow down to Swaggy P and do this effusive apology. No. Oh, now he got grit. You got no grit. I'll tell you what you got, Lakers, on the floor. And I want to commend Jordan Hill for trying to leave the bench. And I want to commend the Spaniard Pau Gasol saying that everyone should have been on that floor. But bottom line is... Legally, only the four of the Lakers could have entered that fray and defended Nick, who gets what it is to rock purple and gold. So to those four Lakers, you see it. And Kelly, you too, you're a rookie man, but it's a fast lesson in life. You know I dig you, but it's a lesson in life. You got to defend your teammates. You see the brick, you guys. You see it? There it you freaks!